it's Kelsey here with a video. Um, I am doing, because I forgot that I didn't do it the other day, Amityville Horror, The True Story. Um, it was a documentary on TV that I decided to watch because if you know me, I love horror and I love my little documentary documentaries if they're pretty good. Um, so I watched this one. And if you guys don't know the real story of Amityville Horror, it is um, a family of five, and they move into this house, and they basically, um, one of the children, the oldest son, decides one day that he wants to shoot the whole family, um, and kills them all. And of course he goes to jail for it and stuff like that, um, but there's some sources that say um, that the house was haunted, that he was possessed to do it, um, he had mental problems. They're trying to d depict of how it happened. And it's actually a really good story. And mostly it's like, it's um, on the, on the Lutz's family that moved, moved in after um, the family saying that they had paranormal experiences and all that. So, it's actually a really good documentary. Definitely check it out. Um, I mean, I don't think I could rate it. I mean, it's from, it's just a documentary. Um, I mean, five stars probably, just because I like documentaries, but, you know, a lot of people don't like documentaries, so that's why I wouldn't want to rate it, um, for anyone. So, um, but yeah, definitely check it out. It's a good, um, it's a good documentary for paranormal buffs slash like history buffs if you and I didn't even know there was a book apparently there's a book about Amityville which is pretty crazy um because I knew about the movie I watched the movie before but I never figured out that there was a book that's kind of interesting I'll definitely have to read it um so I am now going to do the Lone Ranger review um so I will see you guys then bye